Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Moments with Lulu. For those of you who are new to my channel, please make sure you're subscribed so you're always getting notifications whenever I put up a new video. And for those of you who have been following me up until this moment, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos for it does support my channel in a variety of ways. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be a vlog of my morning routine before clinical. So apparently this video was supposed to be my morning routine before clinical or my, and my nighttime routine be after clinical. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to film a nighttime routine after clinical because of how busy my schedule was this week as I have been going to clinical from Monday to Friday, which is today. And I'm actually still editing this video. So I'm just doing the voiceover at 4.31 a.m. before going to clinical. So this video was filmed on the 2nd of November in the morning. And yeah, I couldn't film in nighttime because that was a church day for me. It was also a day for those who are Catholics. So yeah, I had to attend church. And for the rest of the week, I didn't get a moment to film a nighttime routine. But basically, sometimes I have a busy morning. Sometimes I have a less busy morning. So today is just one of those maybe average busy mornings of mine. So... I have to cook for the week occasionally. Normally, I'll cook before the beginning of the new week. So I already have my stew ready, my tomato stew ready for the week, but I don't think that's going to last. But here I'm just boiling rice and I'm about to cut my plantain that I'll be taking with my rice and stew to clinical before 8 o'clock. So I, my wake up time is usually between anytime between 4.30 and 5 a.m. and a week. Yeah, it's just standard for me, even during the summer, and sometimes it's really annoying. I have to go to bed very early before 9 or before 10. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this video was recommended by a subscriber. And this is how I like to cut my plantain whenever I have to fry it for um, anything, rice or um, just to have it with oatmeal. And something else I do when I wake up or as part of my morning routine is to do a bit of school work. Since I wake up really early, I might as well make good use of my time in the morning when my brain is still fresh. Yeah. So I do school work. I check my emails. I check to see if there's any relevant news or relevant emails from any of my professors. I Sometimes I check my um, academic group chat because I have a group chat for assignments that's also the opportunity i use to check most of my group chats because my phone is on notifications for messages for social media just so i'm not distracted so what i'm currently doing here is just school work i love my tea in the morning i love taking my green tea in the morning it does help my bowel function so that's just the main reason why i love taking green tea in the morning and it kind of like keeps me awake but it's not caffeinated anyways nothing really keeps me awake if it's time for me to sleep i'm going to sleep like yeah i'm not a coffee person i'm not even a tea person so those things don't even work for me as long as the sleep is there it's gonna come but personally i just love green tea in the morning so here i'm just doing my reflection for my research course because for that class, you have to do two reflections, and this is just the second one I started on. It was supposed to be due today, but my prof moved it to next week on the 12th of November. That's when it's due. But I already did it, and I just like to have things done early for those of you who know me, just so every day I come back to look at it. I might find something, or I might get a new idea and actually work. And what I'm currently checking is my hours for clinical. So basically for my leadership, um, preceptorship, I have to complete 300 hours. And I think at this point, I have about 
112 or 114 hours left to complete anyways so yeah I have to do that before the 7th of December but I intend to have all those hours in by the 27th of November because I now go every day to clinical and plus my project I'm working on is taking a lot of time so it's a good thing for me I So yes, I've had my oil on the stove for a while now and I'm thinking it should be ready by now for the frying of my plantain. That's why I'm heading there. So yes, I'm about to fry my plantain and I'm just going to show you the end product when it's all done. And because plantain has excess oil when you fry it, I not only use a sieve or colander whatever people call it. I like to attach a paper towel into the colander just to help it drain a lot of oil because I find that paper towel is really absorbent so yeah. For those of you who are curious, yes, I wash my rice. So whenever I boil rice, even on the rice cooker, wherever, even on the stove, it's just a habit. That's what I grew up learning. That's what my mother always did. And so it became a part of me. And yeah, I never knew people did not have to wash their rice once they've already washed it the first time before putting it on the cooker. But this is what I do. an assignment that's due today it's a peer review assignment so we write papers in nursing and leadership course and you have to review the paper of your fellow student and give helpful feedback so which I did and I just um, I submitted yesterday just so I'm not stressed this morning with this and with clinical so yeah that was what I was working on on Monday as well So I also ensure I check my channel. I just check to see how my channel is doing every morning because I just like to know what's going on at the start of the day with something that I own. So please, if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check out my other nursing and international student related videos. And please comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm just packing what I need for clinical. I already have my gym outfit in my bag because I usually go to um, the gym after clinical. So I actually went to the gym this the day I filmed this video and before going to church. So what I'm taking with me is my yogurt and my two apples. I just get hungry in clinical, so I have to take a lot of food. And this is my plantain. This is just the aftermath. This is what it looks like. But, but I'm not selective. Even if I don't like a food, if I know the benefits of that food, Trust me, I'm going to eat it, not because I like it, but for the benefits. This is my stew, my red stew, tomato stew. So I take this with rice. I can't even believe I have more chicken in this stew than I should normally because it makes sense for me to have more stew, not chicken. But it's different for everyone, but this is what I like to have. So this is what I'm taking with me to clinical. I left this planted for my sister, but 
she didn't eat it the one in the smaller bowl so i came home and i saw it and the following morning was still there so i took it with me to clinical and ate it with my rice and stew again yeah mm -hmm. so we are approaching the end of this video so i'm just gonna do the dishes clean the stove get myself ready go take a shower because i have to leave my house on or before 6 48.